Hi and welcome back to my channel and happy 2022. And because it's 2022, I wanted to go over all of the books that I read in 2021. I actually did a video like this last year where I went over all the books I read in 2020. So I was like, let's keep it going. So here I am. I think I read a total of nine books this year, which probably doesn't sound like a lot, for, but I genuinely, th last year was a bit of a roller coaster with school and stuff, so I did what I could, um, but I still enjoyed all of the books I read, and I'm 100% going to be reading more books this year. <laughs> One thing you should know about me before I start this video is that I've still got five books I need to finish, because that's I love to multitask and I have so many books to finish at once. So just keep that in mind because there are more books I've started in reading vlogs you've probably seen in the past and haven't finished because I'm like all over the place at the minute and I kind of fell into a reading rut halfway through the year so just ignore that. Anyway, uh, let's hop right in. So my year started off with Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Um, I don't know if any of you remember the January reading vlog, my hair was so short in that. <laughs> so I ended up reading because I think I started it, it was in my last wrap up, it was, Pride and Prejudice was mentioned in my what I read in 2020 video because I read it from December 2020 up to about January, February 2021. So I technically finished it in 2021, so I can officially mention in this video. My, probably my, it was my first Jane Austen and so far my favourite, so I really enjoyed it. The reading vlog's great if you want to check it out, I'm just absolutely obsessed with Pride and Prejudice. Speaking of which, it's been added onto Netflix again, which I was so glad about. I was up at 6am and I was checking my Netflix and I was like, it's Pride and Prejudice, oh my gosh. So yeah, I love the movie with Keira Knightley, the BBC series with Colin Firth, and obviously I love the book. I've got one of those cloth bound editions that is yellow, it's just amazing and I love it. So that was a great start for the year. And I remember the next book I read was Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And I feel like you might need context for this one. Basically, Growing up, I never read it all the way through. Um, I don't know why, I just didn't. I, I don't know why. I think it's because uh, growing up, I was so hyperactive that I just used to read the first two and then watch the movies because I was absolutely obsessed with Harry Potter. And for the first time uh, in 2020, January, I read it all the way through and it's now my favorite Harry Potter book. So now to, it's now every January, I read um, The Prisoner of Azkaban. So after I finished Pride and Prejudice, or probably during actually, um, I read Harry Potter and The Prisoner of Azkaban again. This year it's gonna be my third time reading it and it's coming up soon. So it, I, it's usually ninth or 10th I start reading it again and I'm very excited because it's my favorite Harry Potter book. So yeah, that's coming up soon as well. So yeah, I read Harry Potter and The Prisoner of Azkaban. I also read Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, which was a big book to get through, but I actually really enjoyed it. Like I never read that all the way through and because it is so freaking big and I actually really enjoyed it and it's probably one of my favourites. I A lot of people say it's too long but I thought it was the correct length honestly. I actually really enjoyed that one so honestly enjoyed both the Harry Potter books I read this year. The only ones I need to read now are number six and number seven. I've read half of number seven before when I was younger but other than that I'm reading those. And then moving on to kind of just miscellaneous books, I reread the first Land of Stories book which is literally my childhood. I grew up on those books. I got the first one when I was like 10 and yeah the rest is history. I reread the first one because I really wanted to and it was it was a hoot and a half. It was so fun and yeah, it was so nostalgic as well. So I enjoyed reading, re reading the first one. I might reread all the books this year. I actually don't know yet. I've got so much on my on, on the brain. Also, another book I read this year was Lost Boy by Christina Henry, which was one of probably one of my favorite books I read this year. It was absolutely amazing. I it's so strange because it took me about two months to finish it. The reason that was was because I picked it up like twice a month and then once the next month and then I'd done because every time I picked it up I would read so much of it then put it down and then read so much of it the next time. It is seriously a page turner like if you if you love Peter Pan and you like plot twists recommend that because I love Peter Pan and I was like this looks interesting this looks like it's different I like different let's go for it and I'm glad I did because it was an amazing book and I enjoyed it a lot very glad about that. Back to the topic of Jane Austen, I read Persuasion as well, um, which was one of her last published books. Um, I enjoyed it, I thought it was really good, but it, I, I didn't enjoy it as much as Pride and Prejudice, but it's only my second Jane Austen book, so I can't really form an opinion of ranking yet, because I obviously haven't read her other books, which I am going to do, 
but I enjoyed Persuasion. I thought it was nice and I appreciate it wasn't too long. Yeah, I think with Persuasion it just uh, definitely having the audiobook helped a lot because like I love audiobooks mainly for the reason that if I get if my eyes get too tired when I'm reading before bed I can just listen to it and then and then the next morning I'm like skimming through the book trying to figure out where I drifted off because like that always happens to me I also read Anne of Green Gables Anne of Avonlea and Anne of the Island um, which is so good I <laughs> I love the Anne of Green Gables books. I got all of them for my 18th birthday and it was a great present. It was just a box set. They're absolutely beautiful, so yeah. I also need to finish Anne of Windy Poplars, which is another one I need to finish. And I think that, that is all of the books I can think of that I read this year. I'm trying to think if I've missed any. I also want to tell you my current read and all the books that I have to finish. So yeah, I have to finish The Picture of Dorian Gray, um, Jane Eyre I'm analysing um, at the same time as reading, so that's actually really fun. I need to finish Atonement, I need to finish The Guernsey Literary and THP of High Society, which I'm so close to finishing anyway, I don't know why I don't just finish it. And I swear there's another one. <laughs> My memory, I had them in a list, but the list is not here. I listed them. Uh, I don't know, I started rereading Little Women I think at one point, but I don't think I need to read it again. Or maybe. It is a lovely book. My current read right now is Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. I'm reading more of Jane Austen, so yeah, I'm really enjoying this. this is, I'm definitely enjoying this more than Persuasion. I'm about halfway through. And I actually, this could be a tie with Pride, Pride and Prejudice of how much I like it. I don't know yet because I haven't finished, but so far enjoying it. So the plans of reading for this month is once I finish this, which I'm putting my sole focus on this because if I'm reading a Jane Austen Book, I can't read another book at the same time because it requires like all of my focus so once I finish this or maybe before I finished it depending how quick I am I will put everything down read the prisoner of Azkaban as usual and then if I'm still reading this go back to this but if I finish this before then then I will work on the books that I need to finish because I didn't put them down because I was bored I just I think I got really preoccupied with school and then that went a little bit uh, so honestly I think it's just because 2021 was such a strange year and I wasn't finding time for reading and also I was my routine was just out out of whack and I was so tired all the time that every time I picked up a book I'd feel myself getting tired and then I'd hate myself because I wanted to read um point is it's all it's all very complicated but yeah that is my those are my reading plans for January yeah I think that is everything I wanted to talk about in this video anyway I hope you enjoyed this 2021 wrap up and I will see you for more reading in 2022 and I hope that you have had an amazing new year and I'll see you in my next video bye